Welcome to Dashway Talks, a show powered by Dashway Consulting, a China-based strategic market research company founded in 2010. With Dashway Talks, you will stay up to date with all the latest business updates in China. Every day, you will learn from China-based experts who share their knowledge about the Chinese market in two to five minutes. I'm uh, Olivier Véraud. I'm the founder of Gentleman Market Agency, GMA. We are a digital marketing agency focused on performance, and we are based in Shanghai here. What are the main cross-border platforms in China? For China, we have uh, actually like several cross-border who are sharing the market share. The number one is, uh, I think, Timo Global. Uh, there is Kaola, that is today purchased officially by uh, Timo Global. There is GD Global. Uh, we can do it also on WeChat. Uh, Pindodo recently launched uh, something to do it also. And there is uh, a lot of like what we call the vertical platforms that also allow the cross-border like VIP.com or Redbook who are more specific in one field. What are the differences between all the platforms? You have two kind of basically platforms. You have the platform where the brand uh, manage their space. And you have the platforms that basically like the platform push the product from the brand and basically like sell directly to uh, to the to the consumer. So that's the two main different basically kind of like cross border platforms that you have. Um, so in the first one, you have like for example Timo Global or you have like WeChat or you have like this kind of like platforms that basically you can open a store, manage your page, drive traffic, and basically do the operation by yourself. So it's really a cross border platforms. And the other one is more like a merchant site. So they are purchasing a part of the stock to you. It was the business model of uh, Kaola. GD also do that a lot. So they appreciate a lot of stock from you. And after they are selling this directly to their platform via their way, via their channel. What are the conditions to use these platforms? The condition to the different platforms are very diverse. Um, if you enter to some uh, big platform like Timo, the conditions are very strict. You have big entry fees and the more the platform are small, the more, more the conditions are, are, are smaller. Uh, maybe I will focus on only one, if you don't mind, maybe on Timo Global, for example. So on Timo Global, uh, you first have to pay a, a deposit. So to be sure that you are going to stay on the platform for a year. So the deposit is between $25,000 to $50,000, depending on the industry, depends on, on, on different factors. And after, like, you need to pay the entry fees to Timo. So it's between five to ten thousand dollar. Some industry fifteen thousand dollar, and uh, it's a kind of like guarantee fee that you will basically give to them for all the years. What about other conditions for other platforms? Other company have different uh, level of like uh, fees, um, and it's very diverse and it's changing all the time. So I will not enter in details. Uh, I just give you an example. It was last year on uh, Red, Little Red Book. It was a free entry fees. There is nothing. But like recently, they asked for uh, $3,000 of uh, deposit plus some entry fees. So this uh, platform are changing all the time. The more the platform is popular, more is popular, the more they will ask for basically entry fees plus deposit.